Hey guys, today I am going to talk about Magic the Gathering and Aragon being black. I think not Arwen, Edwin is also black and people are very upset about this. Now, is there an, a fair analogy we can make? Maybe not. But in recent news, Cleopatra was also black in the Netflix documentary, and this did upset a lot of people, including the people who live in Egypt, which Cleopatra is from. Now, documentaries, they often have take liberties, right? But this is a relatively large liberty in, in the terms of a documentary. So we have a issue and the reason that no one is willing to talk about it is if you do talk about it and you're wrong you will be canceled so we live in a society today where you're, you are either a democrat or a republican and you are one you're, you're yay or nay and today we are going to talk about a conversation that i don't think many youtube channels in general will ever have and it's the conversation of race racism and also depictions, uh, in this case, of a fiction and a non-fictional character. So in Cleopatra's case, was Cleopatra black while asking the wrong questions? Uh, you can only really take two sides. To, there's only two sides to this. Yes, it is okay that there's a documentary depicting Cleopatra as black because, A, whatever. And no, it's not okay because Cleopatra historically has been presented as tan or white or essentially non-black. So there are two sides and they're getting into a heated debate and this is not really good for business. As you can tell from the Netflix documentary, which is one of the most critically bashed uh, and that's just data, right? So if a ton of people really enjoyed Cleopatra being black they would have better reviews than they currently do. So even if, in terms of movies, right? But you could also make the argument, maybe they watch it when they typically would not watch it. Maybe they hate watching the show, which actually isn't that bad for the show. So on top of that, um, let's go ahead and let's talk about Aragon. So Aragon has upset a lot of people because even though Aragon is not a historical figure, he is a fictional figure, so let me draw the parallels here. One is non-fictional, where there are historical paintings and references, and we don't have a photograph, for sure. I mean, I, mean, I can... But it is assumed by most historians that Cleopatra was not black. Now, will you find a historian that will argue that she is black? Yeah, absolutely, you will find you will find one on Twitter right now. Now, a non-fictional character, which is developed, and again, they're kind of using the the books as a reference when it describes him, uh, Aragon, is a little bit more tricky because the author could say, yeah, he's not black, or yes, he is black if he was alive. Now, the estate obviously is okay with this representation as it licensed it out this way. If the estate, the token estate, was not okay with the representation, they would not have given the IP license to Wizards of the Coast. So a lot of people think, oh, token would never have done it. I don't know. But his estate 100% is okay with this, and his estate was 100% okay with Rings of Power, this isn't um, something that you would, you know, you would question on that part. Now, the same exact arguments, the same exact dialogue is that happened in Cleopatra is now happening in Magic the Gathering. What I believe will happen, a lot of people who love Lord of the Rings, they're going to go to a Walmart, they're going to go to a Target, they might go on Amazon. And they will buy some packs and they will get an Aragon. They will expect Aragon to look a certain way. They will probably expect, let's be honest, Aragon to be white. They will not. Aragon is not white in the set. And they will be like, what is this? And 
you might say, oh, racism is bad, racism, uh, you know, and then we, we can, we can, yeah, I don't think anyone saying racism is good, and I don't think anyone would really disagree, at least publicly, that racism, you know, we should limit that, and that's definitely not good for our society. Uh, my argument is, does that person come to magic? Is this set going to bring that person to magic? If they are just strictly, again, they're not a magic player. They are interested in Lord of the Rings. They saw this on their way to check out. It looked kind of cool. And they opened the pack. And they got their favorite character, Aragon or Edwin or any of these characters. And it looked different from what they expected it to look. Again, they are not aware of this conference. The large majority of people who play magic or who are interested in Lord of the Rings, they're not on Twitter arguing with each other for 12 to 14 hours a day. They are not, they, this is the silent majority I'm speaking of, right? Uh, it's the same with Cleopatra. They're not going to go on Twitter and argue for days, if not weeks, if Cleopatra was black. Or if the depiction of Cleopatra was accurate, or was it offensive, or whatever, right? They're just going to turn on Netflix. They don't know anything about the controversy. They're going to watch the show. Maybe they know a little bit about it, enough to like want to watch the show. And then they'll be like, oh, this show kind of sucks. I'll give it a one-star review. Now, the fact that they got a one-star review may not have anything to do with racism or any of that stuff. Uh, is potential. Now, again, a racist will probably give it a one-star review. But it could be they just didn't like it. The production, the quality wasn't even good. It wasn't what they expected. And in marketing, you always want to deliver what they expected and even go beyond that. So, Lord of the Rings uh, could be a very interesting set. There's a lot of dialogue about this right now. I, I think it's one of these weird things. Um, to be quite honest, there does seem uh, Lit Little Mermaid had very good reviews because apparently it's a really good video. So, while Cleopatra has really bad reviews, Little Mermaid, a, non, uh, a fictional character, has really good reviews. And... The argument I see there actually is kind of makes sense. I mean, the the setting of the Little Mermaids in the Caribbean, Jamaica, right? And I was like, oh, well, okay, that kind of logically makes sense to me. So, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? This is obviously a very hot topic. Um, and again, Little Mermaid, uh, Cleopatra, Aragon. We... Whether or not you like it, whether or not you love it, whether or not you, you think highly or you don't, I mean, it is going to continue to happen. Um, Hollywood is pushing um, this for good or bad. For good or bad, it is being, it is happening. It is happening, right? Your favorite characters, historical or, not, or fictional, will... I mean, some of them will change uh, their races. Uh, and is this marketing? Is this like they've done their research? So so here's what I say. The Cleopatra was framed as a documentary type of thing. Uh, and I think that's what offended people. If you just said this is my reimagining and, and then you, you gave that queen a new name and you called her, you know, I don't know, Nefert. Nefertiti, Nefertina, whatever you want to call her, this new queen, and it's like based on, it would probably be, you know, why, except, okay, cool, new character, so that's the same with Aragon, if you just gave him kind of a new character, and this is a new character, really important, and that's what Rings of Power attempted to do, right, they attempted to introduce these new characters into the series, where, you know, I mean, I don't know, this is a tough topic because people do get canceled every day on Twitter, uh, even broaching this subject. And I, I do think it is a conversation that is worth having because if you don't have it, then our country becomes more and more divided. I'm talking specifically about America right now. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Bye, guys.